Assalamualaikum Hi everyone How are you? Welcome back to my online lesson Today, we will continue with Unit 8 Absorption Part 2 From my previous video We already learned about Water absorbent objects And non-water absorbent objects So, for today We are going to learn the ability of materials to absorb water and the importance of water absorbent and non-water absorbent objects I hope all of you are ready with your science textbook Let us start now Now, please refer to your textbook page 74 Let us look at this part The ability of materials to absorb water Look at the conversation between these students The girl said Pepper absorbs water Cloth absorbs water too And the boy replied But which object absorbs more water? Hmm Do you know the answer? Which object absorb water the most? So, let's find out. Let us do a test. Before we start the test, we need to prepare a few apparatus and materials. Things we need are a stick, glue, Colored water, cloth, newspaper, and kitchen paper. Next page, let us look at page 75. There are four steps in this test. Let us go through one by one. Step 1. We need to cut the newspaper, kitchen paper, and cloth into strips of the same size. A is newspaper, B is kitchen paper, and C is cloth. Step 2. Glue the strips onto a stick. Step 3. Dip the ends of the strips into a beaker containing colored water. Leave for 1 minute. Finally, observe the water level absorbed by the tree water. If you still remember, A is newspaper, B is kitchen towel, and C is cloth. Now, let us look at the questions. Number 1. Which object absorb water the most? Why? The answer is kitchen towel absorb water the most because it absorb more colored water than other two objects. Question number 2. Which object absorbs water the least? Why? The answer is cloth because it absorbs the least colored water. And the last question is arrange the objects according to the ability to absorb water in an ascending order. What do you understand by ascending order? Ascending order means you need to arrange from object that absorb water the least until object that absorb water the most. So the answer is cloth and then newspaper and finally is kitchen towel. So for conclusion is the object that absorb water the most is kitchen paper. And number two, object that absorb water the least is newspaper.
Next, let us look at textbook page 76 and 77. The importance of water absorbent object and non water absorbent object. What is the importance of water absorbent objects? Observe the example in this situation. So, we are going to state the importance of water absorbent objects in this situation. situation is, little brother's body is wet after bathing. Father is wiping him with a towel. Why? The answer is, towel can absorb the water after you finish taking a bath. Next situation is, a girl is cleaning her cat's wound. Why is cotton ball used to clean a wound? The answer is, cotton balls can absorb liquid medicine to help treat a wound. Next, a girl is mopping the floor. Mops can absorb spill water on the floor. Next situation is, how does mother dry a jug? The answer is Use kitchen towel or kitchen paper to absorb water And finally How does Imran wipe his sweat? The answer is Use hand towel or tissue paper to absorb sweat Okay, we already discussed the importance of water absorbent object Now, let us look at textbook page 78. Do you know non-water absorbent objects are also important in our daily life? What is the importance of non-water absorbent objects? Discuss. The first one, as you can see, the water is pouring from the roof. And the, the iron barrel can collect and store rainwater. We can use the rainwater to water plants, wash vehicles, wash our feet before entering the house, and many more. Next, a plastic umbrella can protect us against the rain. This is to protect us from getting wet. Next, rubber boots can protect the feet from getting wet. And finally, the glass windscreen of a car can prevent us from getting wet due to rain. That's all from me. I hope all of you can understand my explanation on ability of materials to absorb water and the importance of water absorbent and non-water absorbent objects. If you find this video is helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe me. See you in next video. Goodbye and Assalamualaikum.